Is that a correct statement, by the way? Bobby wants to be very careful with what he says, and he should, but I'm not so careful with what I say. You should. But I always had very strong feelings about autism. Medicine and pharmacology are not based on your vibes, Johnny boy, and how you feel. I said, uh, I said uh, well, let's see how we say that. Acetaminophen, acetaminophen. Is that okay? I'm gonna mock a dude for mispronouncing a term, but what I am troubled by is how underprepared showed up for a speech that affects the life of millions of people around the world. Fight like hell not to take it. But if you can't tough it out, if you can't do it. Tough it out? Huh? <laughs> Nothing it out. Don't take Tylenol. Don't take it. No, it's just a brand name for acetaminophen, which is used in household and hospitals around the world by millions. Acamol, Panadol, Paracetamol. This is a big deal. Can be associated with a very increased risk of autism. Very slim evidence. Actually already been smashed by a larger, more significant study that completely completely negates the link between Tylenol, acetaminophen, and autism. In cases of extremely high fever. Care to give us measurements, Donny boy? 39? Is it 39.2? Is it 41? Is it 52? I bet you don't even really know. Do you mean hyperpyrexia, which is 41.5 degrees Celsius? That indeed could be a medical emergency. And yes, in some cases, even loss of pregnancy. Would you take Tylenol if you need it?